Now we continue with the second part of uh, day one of the first flow. So we go to the top of the handout. So we share everything this here. So remember that we calculate the VSL as a Q divided by A. The Q is the Q in the pipe. So you have to uh, prepare the data first before you plug in. It's not the standard standard condition, but the Q, the rate in the pipe, and also as VSG also from the pipe. And then <coughs> uh, we calculate the. Uh, VSM and VSG uh, and then we calculate the uh, lambda mix uh, uh, what we call it is not lambda mix actually la actually lambda L is uh, it should be lambda L I will distribute it to you with the lambda L later on so this one should be lambda L okay so remember that the unit T is in feet uh, density of liquid and density of uh, gas in one mass per cubic feet surface tension is 10 cm uh, theta uh, is a degree the inclining or declining of the pipe and uh, we have talk, we've talked about it about density uh, no slip density this is the the calculation okay and then uh, no slip uh, viscosity in this uh, equation so if you talk about the slip you end up with having uh, uh, rho s and this one mu s also and the part roughness in feet so if you see here Okay, let's go to the the back center equation. Where is it back center equation? This one, Dan and Ross. So you have everything here. Dan and Ross, Okikeski, and uh, what else here? as is at all and everything but uh, uh, I will use uh, CDC Bex and Bill okay so first of all we will calculate the full pattern so basically we will calculate we predicted the flow pattern okay and then the second one we will predict it the liquid hold up okay and the third one we will predict it the uh, uh, friction factor friction okay and the fourth one we will calculate the pressure gradient that we will need so percent pressure gradient so the first part is we calculate the flow pattern so first of all we calculate the flow pattern using fraud number Float number is uh, is being used with, by previous uh, researcher by pre previous correlations also. So mostly researcher is working based on the previous research. So this float number is being used by Bex and Brill uh, from the previous uh, previous uh, uh, research. <coughs> And uh, V mix it fits per second. V mix is uh, you have it in here. V mix, and then G is a thirty-two point two feet per second square. This is a gravity. It's not nine point eight. Remember that this one is engineering unit, which is thirty-two point two feet per second square, and D in feet. So you have to be aware of the correlation okay so what you should do actually uh, <coughs> fraud number and Pak Brill and Pak Mukherjee 
find out that uh, there are four uh, flow pattern basically and this flow pattern is segregated intermittent and distributed okay so when he researched this thing he find out the this line the solid line here which is uh, uh, we find out for the solid line and after that he makes a correlation by using this a test line so this is uh, this is a graph between fraud number and uh, a liquid uh, no slip liquid hold up uh, lambda L okay this lambda L and fraud number is uh, uh, is plotted so we will have this kind of plot so the test line is from the uh, experiment and finally they come up with this line okay so this area here area one okay is for a segregated flow regime which is segregated this one so segregate between oil and liquid eh, gas and liquid gas liquid gas liquid segregated and this one is intermittent because you have more gas to the right okay and then this one is intermittent and then other area here is segregate uh, is distributed which is uh, mixing between gas and liquid remember that that the lambda l the liquid hold up has to be one the maximum is one the maximum of one so it is impossible more than one with more than one tupa is less than zero so it's, it's impossible things okay so has to be between zero and one is uh, lambda l is one mean everything is liquid lambda l is zero means everything is gas remember that okay so there are three basic uh, flow pattern segregated intermittent in this area and distributed all of them outside the area so so you see the intermittent is just this area and the segregated is up to to the bottom it is maybe probably 0 0.01 or something so it's still uh, segregated and this one also it is uh, around here is still uh, a tra uh, transistor oh, okay i forgot to mention to you so between segregated and intermittent you have a transition here so this transition here is between uh, between segregated and intermittent so there are basically three plus one for a flow pattern for for backs and rails so we're talking about the backs and rails okay now this is so if we couple with front number and then the, we couple with lambda l and it end up in here this point so we have a segregated so if we couple with front number and then we calculate the lambda L is somewhere around here we have a segregated if we calculate the float number and we calculate the lambda L is in here we have the intermittent it's the same as in the transition area so <coughs> this basic uh, basic thing for uh, having the uh, flow pattern so we will further talk about flow pattern in the next day one part three video